All right, coming up next, we get to this lightweight tilt between Dustin the Diamond Porian and Nate Diaz. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Diaz is three years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. And now... First round, you ready? You ready? Matchup of Southpaws here. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just misses with the jab. That one hurt. Nice shot. Big left hand counter lands to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Diaz gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. And he connects there. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Going to the body there with the right kick. He blocks the punch. Nice. Oh, good shot. Those guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Diaz gets hit by that kick to the midsection, Joe. And he switches his stance yet again. Nice. Kick lands for him there. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. He got lit up. Ooh, blocks the shot. Slips the punch nicely there. And he's looking for that left. Joe, that is one well-timed overhand there by Poirier. Look at that. Nice. Wham! The right and the left behind it. Three minutes to go in the round. Oh, both men exchange. And now that jab starting to get established. Really missed with that right hand. Poirier's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Landed that one. Clinched by Nate. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Nice reversal here into half guard. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Nice. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Just missed with the straight left hand. Try to establish that jab. Oh, double jab there by Poirier. Oh, Huge beautiful hook. hook there. Oh, he ate a hard shot to the body here. Both guys landed big shots. The left hook hits home. Hard straight punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Now connects with a right. Oh, could be good here, Joe. He's got double underhooks in the back. Oh, nice oh, he slams his opponent down. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Able to land with the left hand. Diaz's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big body punch. Nice hammer fist. He's doing a great job of ground and pound here. Ripping to the body and to the head, staying busy. 
45 seconds to go here in round one. And back up again. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault, staying technical though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Oh, nice punch there by Diaz. Well-placed kick there by Dustin Poirier. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. Heard him with that uppercut. Cool. Big shots. Big, Big body shots shot. body. is over, he got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. And here's a powerful shot that almost ends this fight. Let's see if... The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Second round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Look at the feint with that punch. And he connects there. Man, I could watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round. And at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any signs of slowing down tonight. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Tagged him. Leg kick now, Joe. Punch is blocked. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. That one hurt. And now starting to snap off that jab. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Switching stances here. How about that chin? Joe going back to southpaw now. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh. This could be it right here. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. There's a nice inside leg kick. Hurt him with that uppercut. Nice leg kick. Well, the kick lands to the head there, Joe, but I gotta say, he moved right into it. So let's see if he can make the adjustments, try to circle out, and at the very least, get that guard up. Not a good look for him here. Body kick now by Diaz. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Clean inside leg kick. Oh, big left. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Constantly a moving target. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Push kick there to the body. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. Good punch. Nice jab there by Poirier. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting 
combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Huge block there. There he swung with a haymaker. Well, if that's not the best jab in the game, it's right up there, continuing to land and keep his opponent at distance. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. Lands a punch there, Joe. Straight to the body by Diaz. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. And he eats a right hand there. Well, Joe, I know he's an offensive fighter, but he's gonna have to figure some things out here defensively, moving forward and right into the straight punch there of his opponent. Straight left. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Obvious redness now on the right side of his body, Joe. Oh, excellent exchange there. Nice punch. Oh, now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. Poirier going for the takedown. He misses. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Hit him hard with that hook. Big knee to the body. Oh. Whoa! Oh. He's out. He's out. Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Wow, Joe, just incredible. Just when I thought I was going to start asking you about what adjustments they could make for the next round, we get the end of the fight. A huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in to stop the action there. Near perfect execution on that fight ending sequence. And here we see it again. Boom! The official decision is 